Hi, I'm Tim Carter, AskTheBuilder.com, and it's been a while, almost three weeks, before any real amount of work was done here at the job site, and the carpenters were here yesterday, and they started to put some of the plates down on top of the foundation, but when they did it, it revealed a mistake made by the concrete contractor. Let's go look at it. Looks pretty ugly. Would you accept this kind of workmanship on your job? I can tell you I wouldn't. Look at that gap. Look at that gap. It's almost an inch and a quarter down here at the end. What it's telling you is the carpenters here yesterday went to great effort and they put the top plate, they made it level. Because the top of the foundation is not level. And you can even see looking down here how wavy the top of this foundation is. And as a result, they had to shim it and put shims in. It's just a huge mess. Just a huge mess. Let's go look at it. Here we are looking at the inside, and you can see this crack goes all the way down. It gets bigger, it gets smaller. It's just basically a big mess. And it's not that hard to get the top of the foundation level. When the forms are set, what happens is the contractor just has to install little nails that are nailed into the side of the forms about every six inches. And those little finish nails are what the he uses as a guide for his trowel to make sure that the concrete is flush. It maybe takes an hour or so to put in those um, nails and takes a skilled worksman, you know, workman to go ahead and get the concrete flat. But, but what do you think, it, how much time do you think it took to, to get this plate level? And look what a, a kind of a substandard job they did with these shims. I mean, would you accept this? Would you accept this on your job? There's no way I would. What's the bottom line? The bottom line is you need to make sure you have conversations with the builder and specifically even the subcontractors and you have to pay attention to detail. It's just little things like this that, but, but they add up over time and they add up and they cause problems down the road. Um, for example, what happens if those shims, uh, what happens when and if those shims rot out? It's completely possible. Then that entire wall drops down. I, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't take that much time to get the foundation level. And, and, and more importantly, what does it tell you about the level of the craftsmanship that the subcontractors are delivering? You know, in other words, are all the subcontractors that, that now appear on the job, are they going to do substandard work as well? And then what happens? Does that mean the entire house is substandard? I think you know the answer. And there's all kinds of ways to prevent this. You have to have great plans and specifications. You have to have a pre-construction meeting with your builder. You have to have construction meetings with the subcontractors the day they start work. It's really that simple. All right, I'm getting a call. Got to go. Remember, click that thanks button at the bottom of the video. I'm Tim Carter, askthebuilder.com. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to askthebuilder.com.